What up, what up? You're in the Grizz His. You may not know this about me, but I'm fairly good at talking to strangers. Like so many times I'll be sitting next to my husband and I'm like, I really want to tell that girl I like her shoes. And he's like, oh God, here we go. But I just like, I'm compelled. Like I just wanted to, you know, pay her that compliment or I just like really want to engage. I don't know, it's a thing. This is reflected in a time that I went to this conference about a year and a half ago, great conference. And I went by myself, I didn't know anybody. So it was awesome slash a little scary, you know, who am I gonna eat dinner with, you know, whatever. Um, and so one night I just happened upon like a group of uh, three girls and we were all kind of walking towards the same restaurant. And I'm like, are you going, I'm going in. Oh, are you, do you want to, oh, let's eat. It wasn't quite as awkward as that, but it was, that's kind of how awkward it was. Anyway, so we sit down to dinner and we're having this great conversation. We're all enjoying the conference, a lot of good, you know, dialogue. And it just so happens that the girl I was sitting directly next to was also Catholic. Um, but it turns out she was not a practicing Catholic. I think I was telling her about a retreat I'd been on or something like cool experience or something. And she was kind of looking at me with like a mixed expression on her face and she was on the verge of tears. And when I stopped talking, she said, part of me just thinks you're full of shit. And I said, but the part of you that is about to cry thinks otherwise. She couldn't believe the goodness. And I could tell she wanted to, but that's what we're called to do, believe the goodness. I first heard those three words strung together in a blessed is she devotion um, a couple weeks ago. And I immediately thought of that girl at dinner. She really wanted to buy in, if you will, but something was holding her back. And I could see that struggle and I could see her wrestling with that, but much better to wrestle with than to not care. Much better to, be fighting internally like than to not have any fire whatsoever hopefully if it was just me planting a little seed then that kept her going along that path maybe of discovery maybe of walking into a church to pray maybe of just like crying out like lord i'm struggling why am i emotional why am i feeling this way why why did this strange girl who talked too much all night to me like make me feel that way but it wasn't me Y'all, that was the Holy Spirit. That was God descending in our conversation and having an interaction with her. That is so powerful. The devil doesn't want me to post this video because I keep running out of space and it keeps cutting off my videos, but we will not have that resistance in hell today. Sorry. <laughs> uh, where was I? I don't know where I was, but we're not gonna look back. We're just gonna keep moving forward. We're in a season of Lent. That means 40 days leading up to Easter. The biggest point of our church calendar Easter, the resurrection, Christ suffers, dies, and then rises from the dead. For us, he opens the gates of paradise. That is what awaits us. He gives us that goodness, and all we have to do is believe in it. Peace out, y'all. I love you. I'm praying for you. Believe the goodness.